Aircraft has undergone a major overhaul in Canada. It came back last year, uh, 1992, from Canada after a major overhaul. Prior to its uh, fateful flight, I had undertaken to fly that particular aircraft from Livingston to Lusaka, and it was in the mechanical sound for it to undertake the task uh, given by the country to take the national team to Senegal. The crew composition, uh, the faithful crew on the aircraft were composed of Keno Muhone. Uh, Keno Muhone uh, he is the commanding officer of the Zambia Air Force Base at the International Airport. Uh, he is a qualified instructor, having been trained in the UK and passed through the Staff and Command College in India. Uh, Keno Muhone joined the Zambia Air Force in 1970. Uh, he has since uh, been in several appointments and he has flown this aircraft for the past 15 years. The second crew member was Lieutenant Keno uh, VK Mwanga. Lieutenant Keno Mwanga too has been flying the Buffalo aircraft for the past 12 years. Uh, he too has been in the service for the past 21 years and is a, was a very experienced crew member. Uh, this crew was qualified and capable of undertaking this task. We however have to undertake and carry out investigation along with the civil authorities in Zambia and like the Vice President has said, with the French uh, government authority to determine what may have happened uh, to the aircraft. There are a number of conflicting reports as to what happened at the time of the accident. This we are unable to see what would have caused the accident until such a time that we have placed ourselves in the position, in position in Libreville to determine what might have caused the accident. Suddenly, here is an air crash and the entire team perished. God, why is this? And we went to that stadium. I could feel the presence of the Almighty God in the stadium. We mourned, we all cried. Fellow citizens, let us pray. O oh God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, God of those that fear your name, we beseech thee this morning, we ask you, dear Lord, that even as I declared Zambia a Christian country, I rededicate this nation and submit it to you that you will have your own decision and will over us. We know, God, there is no king who appoints himself. There is no one who was born president. You alone appoint and you alone remove. Glory be to your holy name. Lord, we submit ourselves to you, believing and trusting that we are in transit. Naked we came and naked we'll go back. Blessed be your holy name. There is nothing we'll take back with us. These younger people, these our brothers who passed away, didn't ever know this was their time. They were no more sinful than we are. Glory be to your holy name, Lord, for we don't know our day. But we ask you of this thing, because you loved the world so much that you gave it your only begotten son, that whoever believeth in you shall never perish, but shall have everlasting life. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And we shall say unto the Lord, you are our refuge and our fortress the God in him and whom we trust. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we ask you to look kindly upon this nation. Look at your people, they are distraught. They are indeed distressed. They are deprived. But with you near us, with your angels guarding us, Lord, yes, we have lost, but you, we know you will sustain us and you will give us. We seek peace, dear God. Yes, the peace that cometh from you, not the peace of the world, 
but the peace that passeth all understanding, the peace of God. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, our Lord, I rededicate this nation as a Christian nation. I know we are at war against the devil, but the devil can never win. The devil was defeated on Calvary. Calvary brought us peace. That is the peace we shall enjoy in this nation. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Oh, I dedicate the cabinet that, oh Lord, you may dwell with the ministers, that they may know they are not there because of their power and strength. We are not there because we are clever men and intelligent men and women. We are there because you have asked us to do your will unto your people. We are messengers, Lord. You are the king and the ruler of this nation. Father, we surrender. Whatever we have, we surrender. And I ask you that you brought me up here at such a time as this, when other men were better, they could have been here. But you brought me, Lord, in order to proclaim your name as our God. Father, I thank you. I thank you, God. Father, Father, I want to promise before your people, I want to promise before this nation that your name I'll continue to proclaim, that your name we shall hold high, that we shall never surrender to injustice. We will uplift the name of Jesus as Lord. I know, O oh God, that these things have never started today. We know there was a man you trusted called Job who lost all his ten children in one day, all the cattle, the sheep he had. But, oh God, you knew that he trusted you. Even in these dark moments of our nation, Lord, I ask this nation to join me, to proclaim Lord Jesus as our Lord, to proclaim you, God, as the ruler of this nation. We shall overcome. We shall overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen.